Don't make the same mistake I did. If you don't clean this part, you will ruin your X-Tool F1 Ultra. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to clean the extractor fan on your F1 Ultra safely and properly. The tools we will be using, we need, we've got an air duster, we've got some IPA, but a cloth. I've got a little mini vacuum cleaner just for me. You can get anyone you want. It's just going to be to remove all of the grime out of it. So they're the main things we're going to be using. But let's crack on and I'll show you how to do it. First thing we want to do is remove all of the power cables. The, if you've got an AP2 air purifier, remove the little Bluetooth device. Also remove anything you have plugged in the back of the machine because we want to be turning it around to make our life a little bit easier. So let's do that first. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be doing. Let me give you a little a little show and tell because you'll see from mine here it's absolutely filthy so we'll be taking that out of there and we'll be removing this these four screws one point i will say as well if you do a lot of maintenance on your machines or anything like that you should pick yourself up one of these these are really cheap online and they they have basically every kind of screw head you're ever going to need and the bit you need to do this is a 2.5 millimeter hex bit thing we want to do is take the screws off so we'll do that now and they're not in there very tight so don't worry too much about stripping threads or anything they should come out and as you can see that is a bit of a beast <laughs> so we'll take all four of those out put those four screws to the side we're obviously going to need them in a bit so what we'll do now is pop this off just nice and slow. There is a cable in there, so if I bring you to the side, don't pull it out too hard and too fast. Just take it out gently. And look at mine, mine is filthy. This is why you need to do maintenance on your machine because look at it, that could build up, that will build up over time. That will affect the performance aspects of the fan and Ultimately, we don't want any of those things. And I'm just going to get a light and shine it in here so you can see it a bit better. I mean, yeah. That's why we're cleaning it, guys. Yeah. Take the fan out first and then unplug it because you just get better access. But the point I'm trying to make is don't just yank it out because that needs to be removed. The reason we want to be cleaning this regularly is because if I give you a little look, there's other parts in there. There's other like, there's other aspects within the design in there, other components that could be a little bit sensitive. They shouldn't be being in there. We want to keep it maintained and clean because ultimately we don't want it to leak through and affect the performance of the laser. So that's exactly why we're doing this. So here is the inside, absolutely caked. I mean, my fingers are filthy just from handling this. And then this one here, blimey, this, this really did need a clean. So let's get them cleaned up. Starting off with the little vacuum cleaner and just getting as much loose debris off of it as possible. Okay, I mean, you can see it's still filthy, but anything that's loose has come off of it now. That's the key point of this first stage. Then we're gonna do the same with it. We've removed any loose debris off of that. Next thing I'm going to do is spray it with the IPA just to kind of start loosening things up a bit more. Then we're going to get the cloth in. I mean, look at it running off. You see, this is filthy. This is why this needs to be done. Gone away now, just in the meantime, and I've got a warm bowl of water. This part doesn't have any sensitive components, so I'm actually, because it's so dirty, I'm going to submerge it in warm water and just let the water get rid of any grime on it because I mean I'll show you look just from putting it in here look at that it's there's loads of grime floating in there so I think with this particular part the best the best option in my case because it's so dirty is to put it in the water and just get my hands stuck in there and wherever I can just give it a wipe okay here's a brush that I had lying around so just getting it in there what it does is it just gives us a chance to get in all the gaps and clear away just anything that's just been stuck in there and it's already looking 10 times better I've got to say it 
I think we're basically there to be honest with you. And there we go. I've also got a another towel here just to give it a proper wipe down. Okay, that is looking 10 times better. I don't know if you can tell that. I'm happy with that. Let me find it's gonna be a bit of a different story because it's obviously, sen it's got sensitive components in there. We don't wanna be getting it wet. Lay her on the bed there, just so that when the grime inadvertently runs off of this, it's not gonna to be too bad. Spray it. We have the IPA. Isopropyl alcohol. I'm, I'm not being sparing with this. I am literally just getting it stuck in. Just make sure you don't get the connector. I will get the brush in there again. Okay. Just gonna get this cloth in any areas I can. You don't have to do this perfectly, but obviously the more thorough you do do it, the better you're gonna stand in terms of actually having a working or an efficient fan, shall I say. Okay, and I'm just gonna give it another hard wipe. Okay, this is the point now where I'm actually going to get my um, air gun, air compressor out. With these air compressors, you do get normally some different attachments. And I find this one's really handy for these kind of situations where you want to get in there, but give it a bit of a blowout as well. I'm going to do it now. It's going to get loud. And then I put on this one here just to give it a bit of an intense blast then. that one a bit of a blast as well and there we have it we've got two parts now that are a lot better than they were obviously that is still fairly dirty in terms of it's not pristine but it's good enough for what I need you can go into as much depth as you want with those bits now we're gonna address the inside of this area because we don't want to leave it as it is we want to get our vacuum side of this just to mop out any or not mop out suck out any debris or any bits that are just going to build up over time okay that's looking pretty good to be fair i'm happy with that and what i will do now as well is i will also give it a little bit of a blast in there as well One thing I would say to do as well, just give it a little bit of a wipe behind that fan shroud as well. You want it to look nice as well from the other side and you'll probably notice any build up in there. So just be careful, just have a little careful spray like that. And then get our cloth, just give it a, a rub once again and around the perimeter. Happy with that. And I'm gonna get the brush in just to make sure We're at a point now where that is clean enough for us to start putting things back together. So I'm gonna to put the fan back in now and the orientation mine was in was like that. So you want the label facing out towards you to the back of the machine. Well, mine was in this orientation. So we'll see if that, you know, yours might be different. So we're gonna plug that cable back in first. That's the first thing we're gonna do because there you go, make sure it engages and it clicks nicely then you just push it all the way back in. You can see my cable is plugged back in there. So try and set it up the same way as that if yours did come out the same way. Then we're gonna put this part back on here. It does matter which way you put this in. You see you've got two little notches there and you've also got on the bottom here, a little bit of a gap there. They need to match up. So that needs to be facing down like that. So that's how we're gonna push it in. Now, the first couple of screws might be a bit um, fiddly to locate. 
I like to do diagonals because it, it makes sure the fan is then positioned correctly and, and nothing's kind of pulling to one side so all the holes should line up a bit easier. That is put back together. I don't know how long that took, but it wasn't very long at all. Let's rotate our machine back around. And now it's gonna clean this part next. And how I'm gonna do that is just giving it an IPA spray again. And just let it run, let it bind onto it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little brush and I'm just gonna get into these little parts here because the grooves are quite challenging to get in from time to time. And I'm gonna run it up and down like that, all the way through. I want this thing looking good because it has been looking pretty rough for a little while, so. And if, if you do not know my channel, I do a lot of live engraving sessions. And on those, I do so many random things. I do every kind of material you can think of. And because of that, obviously my machine gets good a good amount of use. Check that out, by the way, check out my lives or I always advertise when I'm going to do a new live, so check that out if you're interested in that. I, I often share the settings that I use and yeah, I'll teach you some new stuff potentially. Let's get our cloth on there now. And do it like that. Excellent. So there you go, everyone. We have officially cleaned our fan. We've taken it out. We've given the fan a clean. We've given the shroud a clean. We've cleaned the little area surrounding it. That is good to go. I would recommend doing that. Well, it, it's, a, it's on a use by use case, isn't it? If you use your machine heavily, though, I would do it monthly, maybe even bi-weekly, because you saw how dirty mine was. Don't let yours get like mine. Learn from me. Thank you for watching, guys. And Subscribe to the channel if you found this useful.